doing, people? Tall one. Chapter 14 of the Book of Yellow Men. We're almost there. We're almost up to 3rd Nephi and Mormon Jesus time. I'm so excited. All right, let's read the masthead of chapter 14 of Yellow Men. Samuel, the Lamanite, predicts Christ. Again? You make it sound like he's the first guy who did that. I mean... Everybody's doing it in this book. <laughs> the sign of Christ's birth to be given in five years. Sign of his death, also foretold, because that's a big deal. <laughs> First one. And now, it came to pass. That Samuel, the Lamanite, did prophesy a great many more things which cannot be written. Not even here. Two. And behold, he said unto them, Behold. <laughs> I give unto you a sign. For five years more cometh, and behold, then cometh the Son of God to redeem all those who shall believe in his name. That's three beholds in one verse. I should have drank to death. Three, and behold, this will I give unto you for a sign at the time of, time of his coming. For behold, there shall be great lights in the heavens and so much that in the night before he cometh there shall be no darkness. None. In so much that it shall appear unto a man as if it was day. Okay? Four. Therefore, there shall be one day and a night and a day as if it were one day. We already got it. <laughs> you must have been expecting a thick crowd. <laughs> And there were, and there were no night, and this shall be unto you a sign. Samuel, you're a dipshit. <laughs> Just say, hey, for two, two days and a night, it's going to be like one day. There won't be any darkness. Done. We're done here. We can move on. And <laughs> four. Ye shall know of the rising of the sun, and also of its setting. Therefore, they shall know of a surety that there shall be two days and a night. Nevertheless, the night shall not be darkened, and it shall be the night before he is born. And we get our first Christmas, unless you count the birth of Mithras. Five. And there shall a new star arise, such an one as ye have never beheld. And this also shall be a sign unto you. I wasn't there. Oh, that's right. It's uh, Samuel talking to the crowd. Excuse me. Six. 
And behold, this is not all. There shall be many signs and wonders in heaven. Seven. And it shall come to pass... Ye shall all be amazed and wonder, insomuch that ye shall fall to the earth. That happens a lot in this book. Eight. And it shall come to pass. Whosoever shall believe on the Son of God, the same shall have everlasting life. I believe you said that before already. More or less. Nine. And, and behold, thus hath the Lord commanded me by his angel that I should come and tell you this thing, tell this thing unto you. Yea. He hath commanded that I should prophesy these things unto you, which you just said. Yea, he hath said unto me, Cry unto this people, Repent and prepare the way of the Lord. Ten. And now, because I am a Lamanite, and have spoken unto you the words which the Lord hath commanded me, and because it was hard against you, ye are angry with me, and do seek to destroy me, and have cast me out from among you. Eleven, and ye shall hear my words, for, for this intent have I come up, upon the walls of the city, that ye might hear and know of the judgments of God, <clears throat> which do await you because of your iniquities, and also that ye might know the conditions of repentance. Twelve, and also that ye might know of the coming of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Father of heaven and of earth, the Creator of all things from the beginning, and that ye might know of the signs of His coming. Thanks. To the intent that ye might believe on His name, 13. And if ye believe on his name, ye will repent of all your sins, and thereby ye may have a remission of them through his merits. That would be JC. His merits. 14. And behold, again, Another sign I give unto you, yea, a sign of his death. That's Jesus. Fifteen. For behold, he surely must die, that salvation may come, yea, and it behooveth him that, that he dieth to bring to pass, and I'll drink to that. The resurrection of the dead, and thereby men may be brought into the presence of the Lord. So an act of violence is required for peace on earth. A scapegoat, a human being, 
You know, he was going to die anyway. Everybody dies. <laughs> he died of old age for your sins. Just kidding. Sixteen. Yea, behold, this death bringeth the past. Yeah, bring it to pass the resurrection and redemption of all mankind from the first death. That being the one that we all do. That spiritual death for all mankind by the fall of Adam being cut off from the presence of the Lord are considered as dead. Oh, that's the first death. I thought you were talking about when you croak. So we died before we were born? Is that what this book is saying? Adam, really? Adam and Eve? Wow. Both, they're considered dead, both as to things temporal and to things spiritual. So real and make-believe at the same time. Seventeen. But, behold, I should have drank the behold, don't you think? The resurrection of Christ redeemeth mankind. The resurrection, not his death. I'm trying to keep track. Yea, even all mankind. And bringeth them back into the presence of the Lord. 18. And it bringeth the pass, that death and resurrection. The condition of repentance. That whosoever repenteth, the same is not hewn down and cast into the fire. But whosoever repented not is hewn down and cast into the fire. Yeah, that follows. And there... Oh... And there cometh upon them again a spiritual death, yea, a second death, for they are cut off again as to the to things pertaining to righteousness. God damn it, I hate that. Alright, um nineteen <clears throat> Repent ye Repent ye lest by knowing these things and not doing them ye shall suffer yourselves to come under condemnation and ye are brought down into this second death and I'm going to have to do a part two so stay tuned please